You want to talk to us about squibs, Dan? Squibs? Uh, don't do them. Well, tell us, tell us what happened on the range today. What a oh, squib what is. Today, uh, well, I've, I had a squib a little while ago, which is how we met uh, Lone Wolf Distributors. Uh, somehow didn't get powder in it. In in one case, and uh, it was it was actually a light. It must have been a light load. Had to drive the uh, the bullet out. Actually, uh, yeah, it, uh, it I had uh, soft lead in it. And it might have, it, it hung up quite a bit trying to get it out. But uh, yeah, squib is no powder. You gotta be real careful reloading. Yep. You gotta be consistent, establish a, a routine. A routine and a powder that you can say, and, and make sure that your quality controls and check, and check that. I'm making sure that powder's in there. It's not that you're never gonna load a squib and that you're gonna be the best reloader, that you'll never reload a squib. If I dry fire 100,000 times, one out of 100,000 probability, I might have an accidental discharge. The time will come when you'll have an accidental discharge. The time will come when you'll load a squib. The time will come when you do something stupid. The thing is that as long as everything's followed, safety procedures are followed, you'll end up all right. That's why it's always good to have an extra barrel on hand too. But, but what, you'll, what you'll feel and what you'll, you'll hear is light recoil. Uh, I heard basically the primer strike sensed something, something was wrong. Uh, I didn't try and, and cram one in right after that. The recoil was different. I stopped, took it apart, and looked in. Huh, a piece of lead stuck in there. Uh, and we cleared it. Didn't notice it. I mean, it was a very slight bulge on mine, but my accuracy just disappeared. We went to nothing. I couldn't hit anything because of that uh, bulge in the barrel. Uh, today, <clears throat> the shooter uh, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear a squid, but he'd had a couple of light strikes. Yeah. Uh, ammo that might have gotten wet. And uh, so after about the third rack on it, it's like, oh, ding, uh, possibly a, a squib. You get sure enough, we took it apart, and the bullet was right there. It was an XD projectile that lodged right in the mouth of the barrel. Uh, we were able to uh, knock it out you know, real, real quick. Uh, he was down 12 rounds, had to shoot 12 rounds, make 12 rounds up on his uh, qualifier. but. He did that in, uh, in flying fashion. The big warning sign about a squib will be the distinctive light crack. Yeah, no light crack and no recoil. No recoil. Sometimes you More might very, get little, very light recoil. You know, so that's the thing. When you hear that crack, stop. Yeah. If you're around new shooters and you <clears> hear that crack, get them to stop before that next one. And, and the thing is, is you you can't always trust factory ammo. We were shooting uh, one day. Carl had uh, some factory loads, and he had a 40 caliber projectile loaded in a nine millimeter case. It actually went on. No, we actually put it in the shoot. And it, it actually shot okay. Uh, but it, they were able to cram that 40 caliber uh, projectile right in a nine. Factory out of the box, white box Winchester. So it's, nothing is perfect. Anything made by man can, uh, can and will go wrong. The mindset should always be we use safeties, but we don't trust safeties. And so, especially with the ammunition, we use the ammo, but we never trust the ammo. We always make sure that we uh, use the, the safety procedures to keep sure, make sure everything goes well. So, trust but verify. Yes. Trust but verify. Exactly. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Good job, Stan. Thank you, Tom. Keep doing business. <laughs>